1 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines The advisor to the Prime Minister on Commerce has invited the European investors to take benefit of the investment opportunities in Pakistan. Well, the International Court of Justice will announce its verdict in Kulbushan Yadav case today. Afghanistan has welcomed Pakistan's decision to reopen its airspace to all commercial flights. Iran has rejected to hold talks with the United States on its missile program. And now the news in detail. The advisor to the Prime Minister on Commerce, Textiles, Industries and Investment, Abdul Razak Daud, has asked the European investors to take advantage of the investment opportunities in Pakistan. He was talking to the European ambassador to Pakistan, Jean-Francois Cotain, in Islamabad today. The advisor said the government is fully facilitating the foreign investors. The European envoy said Pakistan can enhance its exports to the European Union countries by bringing value addition and introducing more products. They also discussed Pakistan-European Union relations and matters of mutual interest. They expressed satisfaction over the economic relationship between Pakistan and the European Union and expressed the resolve to further expand cooperation in economic and other sectors. A meeting of the Economic Coordination Committee chaired by the advisor on finance, Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, is in progress in Islamabad. The meeting is discussing the overall economic situation of the country. The International Court of Justice will announce its verdict in Kulbushan Yadav case today. The Pakistan team, headed by the Attorney General, is at The Hague to hear the verdict. The team also includes the Foreign Office spokesperson, Dr. Mohammed Faisal. Indian spy Kulbushan Yadav was arrested on 3rd of March 2016 through a counterintelligence operation in Balochistan's Mashkhel area for his involvement in espionage and sabotage activities against Pakistan. In his confessional statement, he admitted that he was tasked by RAW to plan, coordinate, and organize subversive activities in Karachi and Balochistan. Kulbushan Yadav was awarded death sentence on 10th of April 2017. In an interview with the News and Current Affairs channel of Radio Pakistan, International law expert Ahmed Bilal Sufi said in his opinion the International Court of Justice will not go to the extent of setting aside the conviction of Kulbushan Yadav or handing him back to India as has been prayed by the New Delhi in its petition. He said the International Court of Justice respects the domestic laws and the judgments given under them. The Afghan chief executive, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, has welcomed Pakistan's decision to reopen its airspace to all commercial flights. In a tweet today, he said air connectivity and affordable airfare play an important role in South Asia's regional integration, which is vital for the region's prosperity. The Azad Jammu and Kashmir government has set up relief camps for the victims of Neelam Valley flash floods where Pakistan Army and all the state agencies are providing relief to the affected people. According to State Disaster Management Authority, relief packages including essential food items have been distributed amongst 150 families. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops have launched a violent cordon and search operation in Sirinagar, Baramula, Bandipura, Pulwama, and Islamabad, Anantag districts. The authorities suspended internet services, shut down schools, and closed all entry and exit points in Sopor town. The firing in the area was going on when last reports came in. Iran has rejected suggestions that it is willing to discuss its missile program with the United States. A spokesman for Iran's United Nations mission said weapons are absolutely under no negotiable condition. 
Meanwhile, the American President Donald Trump has said the United States is not pushing to topple Iran's leadership and a lot of progress has been made to ease tensions that recently threatened to ignite a war. His comments came after Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei vowed to keep rolling back commitments made under the landmark 2015 nuclear deal, which was abandoned by the United States last year. The managing director of the International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde, has resigned from her duties in a statement IMF Executive Board said it has accepted the resignation of Christine Lagarde and expressed its greatest appreciation for what she did for the institution. She will leave her office with effect from September 12th. The Saudi-led coalition intercepted and downed three drones launched by the Houthi rebels towards Jazan and Abha in Saudi Arabia. In Sudan, the ruling military council and the opposition alliance signed a political agreement today as part of a power sharing deal aimed at leading the country to democracy. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.